Good morning, everyone. Let's talk about 10 etiquettes that you should know about before getting on the airplane. Hi, everyone. My name is Sergio Dufredas. I am a flight attendant who travels the world. While most people just play some form of etiquette when they come on the aircraft, there are some people who still need to know about etiquette. And that's what this video is for. Here are the 10 etiquettes in no particular order that I think I should explain further. Three, use a Ziploc bag to hold all the things that you need on board. Remove your headset when someone approaches you. Did you know flight attendant only has to inform you that the seatbelt sign is on? That's right. Number three, how many things do you need on board to make your flight smooth and comfortable? One, two, three, ten? It doesn't matter. All you need to do is while you're sitting at the gate, Get a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag, Ziploc bag. Get a Ziploc bag and place all the items that you're gonna need for that flight inside that bag. So when you get to your seat, all you gotta do is pull that bag out, place it next to you for all the things you need on board. It will take less time for you to get settled and the passengers behind you will also appreciate that you actually step in aside to let them pass. Remember, they also gotta store their stuff or maybe even bring this stuff down because they forgot a, a Ziploc bag and you didn't. I'm not saying to put everything in a bag, you know, at home. When you are sitting at the gate, it's a great opportunity for you actually to think about what you're gonna need on board. A snack, uh, your power cord, your phone, although your phone should be on your pocket, but. Anything that you need that's gonna make you fly comfortable, place on a Ziploc bag. All you gotta do is pull that from your bag and Voila, you ready. When you see a flight attendant approaching your seat, be ready to acknowledge that flight attendant by removing your headset. No flight attendant wants to wave their hands in front of your phone or your computer. Besides, so it's kind of rude. But often enough, in order to serve you, they do have to go ahead and wave their hands in front of you because you're not paying attention. While you might be consumed with your job and you're doing entertainment, which is okay, it's a courtesy to actually Remove that headset, give us 30 seconds of your attention. All they're gonna ask is, what would you like to drink? That's not that difficult, be courteous. Help out. That was number four. Number five, did you know flight attendants are only required to tell you the seatbelt sign is on? And often enough, passengers are kind of confused. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I not go to the bathroom? And what happened is, they are informing you that the seatbelt sign is on. They are not telling you, don't go to the bathroom. Oh, go to the bathroom. But one thing is, they can't tell you, go to the bathroom. But they have not stopped you from going to the bathroom. If you gotta go, you gotta go. I'm an old guy and I gotta get up often. When I am traveling as a passenger, I try to get an aisle because I do get up quite a few times. And some people have these problems and some people don't. I do. All they are required to do is to inform you. The bell sign is on. If you gotta go, you gotta go. If you come to the gate a little earlier, use the toilet before you go on board. If you come on board and you, you, you were rushed in and you just didn't have time, get settled, get up, and before they close the door, go to the toilet. Obviously now they're gonna push back the aircraft, they're gonna take off, and you're gonna have to wait until the seatbelt signs off. And that's part of SOPs. Companies, lavatories will be locked prior to push back. So go ahead and use the toilet as you need before pushing back. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait until the seatbelt sign is turned off and the flight is in, in route to your destination. But if you gotta go, remember, you gotta go. Usually, little kids are always entertaining themselves, busy, not thinking about it because they don't think about that stuff. As a parent, it is a good thing to ask. Do you need to use the toilet before you sit down? If they gotta go, unfortunately, they're kids. They gotta go too. <laughs> Make sure you ask them. They probably want to go and just don't know it yet. Did you like this kind of video? If you'd like to know more about what it takes to be a flight attendant, what it's like to be a flight attendant, how does a flight attendant job works? Place a comment below in this video the questions that you'd like to be answered. I'll answer those questions to the best of my abilities. Now, if you like this video, subscribe if you will. And until next time, this is Sergio Dufreitas, a flight attendant traveling the world, signing out.